Bro, what are these fusions? I wasn't even paying attention, but my god. Welcome back to Infinite Fusion! As usual, it's been a little bit since the last episode. If you're watching this on YouTube, it probably hasn't been that long. But for me streaming it live, it has been a little bit. Wait a minute, yo, hold up! These sprites are definitely different. Or am I tripping? So, uh, yeah, we beat the f sixth gym. Sabrina. Which means now we gotta go off to Cinnabar Island. And I'm not really sure if we have a surfing Pokemon. Yeah, we have Raiden with Surf. But yeah, we only have three Pokemon on my squad, but we can always catch some more stuff. What, why am I... What? Wait, what? Yo, yo, what, what, what am I doing? What? Why did I think that was a wild Goldeen? Well, this is a wonderful start to the playthrough. <laughs> or to this episode, whatever. I mean, I did want to go to the PC and, and see my team anyway. Oh, this is slow poke, not even slow bro. I guess we can put slow limb back on the team too. I'm gonna do a poll real quick. Which ground type should we use on the team? Doublet or Kangas Walk? And I'm actually gonna go to Pallet Town because it's way closer to Cinnabar. Even though I guess if we go this way, we'll get more experience. Okay, now let's get serious though. And maybe not run away from this swimmer. That would be nice. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. The vote was tied! Doublet and Kangas Walk! What does that mean? Who do we freaking pick now? Oh, good thing you made yourself a dragon type star. You thank you for that. I can actually kill you easier. Oh. Or maybe I die almost. Okay, that's not great. Sunny? Sunny? I, I'm like holding out on Sunny because I know it's a late bloomer being a Volcarona Flygon fusion. Like, both of those evolve pretty late. I mean, I guess Flygon's not super late, but like... Volcarona, what level does Bro Volcarona even evolve at, bro? I don't know. I, I just know it's really, really late. 59 or 58, 55-ish? Yeah, I don't know. I know a lot of black and white Pokemon evolve kind of late, though. Like, Unova Pokemon in general are pretty late bloomers. But we got a re-poll in the chat. We got a new poll, so make sure to vote. The tiebreaker. I don't know why I keep missing my surfs, man. This is... Surf is not up right now. But finally, we're gonna get th this thing out of there. I mean, that was actually kind of a cool fusion, though. I'm definitely liking all the custom fusions that people have made. What the heck? You can destroy those? I don't even know. Is that Does that mean we can potentially get, like, a Palo Sand? Because I know that they have some Alolan and, like, later gen Pokemon. Whoa! You can battle swimmers from the land? Dude, I'm, like... I don't- I'm learning so much right now that I feel like should have been obvious, but... We got another pretty sick fusion right here. This is giving, like, Cthulhu vibes. Like some kind of Lovecraftian creature. Alien. That lives in the bottom of the ocean! Thank you! For the sub! Zazu! Appreciate that. What the frick? The back-to-back? -back? Ain't no way! It really is him, bro! It is him! <laughs> Thank you so much for the subs! But yeah, let me finally remember to switch Raiden up first, even though he's like freaking almost dead now. And I accidentally talked to that girl after we beat her ass, and she gave us an item, which is... I didn't even know that people could give you items after you beat them like that. But now I kind of low-key want to go talk to... Wait, we didn't fight this guy. Yeah, okay. Now that I got that big video out of the way, like, because I was moving, I wasn't able to really work on stuff. But now that I got all of the Legend ZA theories out the way, I feel like I can maybe get on a better schedule. So maybe we'll go back. Like, what did I used to do? Those of you guys that watch my streams, like, what was the schedule? I believe it was like Monday. No, Sunday. Was there a schedule? Maybe I never really had a schedule. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't Raiden's have the monkey paw? You know what? You are right, Adam. I I did not remove the monkey paw, which is probably why we keep missing all of our attacks. Because it's a new hell item in this game. As we learned Dragon Tail, okay. Yeah, I'll definitely grab that. Even if we're not going to end up using... Uh, T on the team, like, forever. 
I mean, might as well have the best moves. But yeah, we got to get rid of that item because it makes you have more critical hits, I think. But you get like 50% accuracy, which is not great. Yeah, I mean, Mankey Paw, not Monkey Paw. Did I fight this guy? Yeah, this guy. We beat him. Yeah. Have these. Well, they... Yo, does every trainer give you items when you beat him? What the frick? Why have I not been talking to these people? They all give us free stuff. Hell yeah, dude. What you got for me? Oh, never mind. Okay, maybe some of them just give you items. Some of them want a rematch. Which, like, both of those are pretty clutch. I mean, in official Pokemon games, they don't give you anything. <laughs> or want to rematch you, so... Items, rematches, and trades. Really? Some of them want to trade? Yo, that's dope. Okay, there's a lot of Starmie fusions I'm noticing in this route. And, like, pretty much all of them look dope. Like, I have not seen a bad Starmie fusion yet. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I don't know. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting so far. Air Slash... Nah, we good. I mean, I don't even know if we can get rid of Fly. As su Sunny's evolving as a burp comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Weird timing there, but let's go. We got the Flygon form. Still Larvesta though, but thank you, Robot Department Store, for this. <laughs> Very cute sprite. I like the eyes. But yeah, I think I'm like definitely committing to Twitch as my main streaming platform. Uh, but of course, I will always do YouTube as my main, like, thing. But as far as streaming goes, I, I definitely like Twitch more. Like, as much as YouTube brings in more viewers and obviously more revenue because of that, I don't know, there's just something about chilling with you guys in Twitch chat and having the emotes and just the vibe, I guess. It's a lot nicer. I feel like with YouTube chat, it's just like a little too crazy for me at times. I can't keep up and I don't know, YouTube chat just doesn't look as clean either. It's hard to keep up with and it just doesn't look as good, if that makes sense. Maybe I'll try dual streaming at some point, but that, that'll be for like special streams. I have not seen the Duskull fusion, sorry, I was just catching up on chat right now. I think we did catch a Duskull last time at some point, I don't remember. But we made it to Cinnabar, so maybe we can check the Pokemon Center and see. Yeah, Blaine is, in fact, the gym leader here. There's a hotel? Oh yeah, that's a thing in this game. The hotels have, like, side quests. Let's check it out. Haven't done one of these in a minute. I've seen Koga's daughter use a move to push a large boulder. I wonder what that move was called. Hey, the hotel got the X and Y music, though. Hell yeah. I brought up Legend ZA and I totally forgot, but Mega Flygon, that was the reason why. I really hope we actually get Mega Flygon, like Bug and Dragon has to happen and it has to be Mega Flygon, dude. Sure, I'll help you out. The burglar went into the Pokemon Mansion. He said something about a relic, I think. So I guess while we're in the Pokemon Mansion, we'll be on the lookout for that. Uh, this guy wants a diamond necklace. Okay, sure. Wait, the, the dude on the right, it wasn't even a quest though. Or maybe like once we return it, it'll count as a quest? Sure, this lady wants metal powder. Okay, wild ditto can sometimes be found holding it. You can probably find them in the basement. Oh hell yeah, we can get some more ditto fusions. I don't remember there being a crane here though. That's kind of dope. I mean, it's a little bit see-through. I'm not sure what's up with that. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to be able to see ourselves through the crane, but... Oh, we can go in this boat? Yo, what is this? Hello there, pal! I'm the fishing guru's brother. Fishing's my passion. I dedicated my entire life to it. You like to fish? I mean... I'll take a super rod. <laughs> this is pretty dope, though. This guy's got a nice boat. I wonder how a ditto fused with Magikarp would be. Yo, that's kind of funny you mentioned that because today, uh, well, it's St. Patrick's Day, actually, as I'm recording this. I haven't even mentioned it all stream, but happy St. Patrick's Day. If there's anybody Irish out there in the chat, shout out to you especially. Yo, what the frick? We can actually catch this Absol. Let's go. Although I'm a little bit nervous because Absol, as you probably know, is... Uh, 
bad omen Pokemon, whatever they call it. Maybe it's just the omen Pokemon. It's not a bad omen Pokemon. That's just a superstition in the Pokemon world. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't know that, but that, that's pretty cool that it's just misunderstood. It's the misunderstood Pokemon, I guess. But I don't know. I could have sworn that at least in like one of the Pokemon movies, Absol shows up and then there's like an earthquake or like a legendary shows up or something. The Jirachi movie, right? There's an Absol in it. But I know that there is an Absol in that movie. I just don't remember what, what, what it does. But you know, only one way to find out, right? We caught the Absol. Now we'll see how that affects the rest of the stream. What the f- You can put the Mega Sprite? Yo, that's awesome. I mean, I don't think there's actually Mega Evolution in the game. So, I mean, why not, right? Let's freaking put the Mega Sprite, bro. <laughs> we can pretend it's a Mega Absol. And call him, uh, call him Lucky. Uh, okay, this is the Pokemon Mansion. This is definitely the place we need to be in. But I, I know I was telling a story. Oh yeah, about Magikarp. So, St. Patrick's Day, uh, me and Karen decided to go out because here in Chicago, they have a special tradition every year where they dye the Chicago River green for St. Patty's. And even though I lived here for years, oh my god, I forgot to heal up. <laughs> I always forget to heal, man, why? And of course it goes for self-destruct. And of course that glitch is still here, where for some reason self-destruct makes my own Pokemon black out for some reason. Um, so yeah, we went to go see the river, which I'd never seen even though I lived here for years. I'd never actually gone to see it in person. And it's pretty sick. Like, I don't know, I was expecting it to be like a lime, slimy, disgusting looking green, but it's like a bright neon glowing green. Like it kind of reminds me of the, 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 the liquid inside of glow sticks. You know, like it's that kind of green. Or like toxic waste. Yeah, some like, like it looks like sludge, but not in a nasty way. Like toxic glowing goop from like a superhero movie. Like the kind of thing the Joker would jump in and get his superpowers, you know? Which I did see some people do. Some people jumped into the river while it's dyed green. Oh my god. Yo, that's kind of sick. I mean, we lost the Slowpoke Well reference, but I kind of like how this looks. Did you toss your Mountain Dew in there too? Nah, I did, I did not participate. I did not partake. <laughs> but I can see people probably doing that, actually. <laughs> I don't know how that would affect the wildlife, because I think there's fish in there. Uh, but they say it's some kind of algae that they use to make it, to dye it. So it's like supposedly all natural. And I mean, the ducks were chilling. Like the ducks did not care one bit about the color of the river at all. So maybe the ducks were mutated. N Teenage Mutant Ninja Ducks. Yeah, I don't know if any people got superpowers, but I'm gonna say the ducks had a bigger chance of getting it because they were bathing straight up, just sitting in there, basking in the glowing sludge. So if, if anyone got superpowers from the river, I'm gonna say it's the ducks. But the whole reason I was telling this story is not even related to the river being died. It's the fact that on the way back home from the river, I saw a little kid with a Magikarp plushie. And he was like, I don't know what it was exactly. Like it was a Magikarp obviously, but it had some kind of like string attached to it. And the kid was like helicoptering it <laughs> as he's walking down the street. <laughs> Which looked absolutely ridiculous, but you know, I'm happy for Magikarp that that someone has a Magikarp plushie even. As I know I'm completely messing up this battle here. I didn't even realize this thing had levitate. But I'm not gonna make that mistake again. We're not gonna go for Earthquake, alright? Sunny's obviously gonna die. Oh my god. This is this is not bueno. Who kills this Wii World? Just someone please take it out, please. Okay, thank goodness. <sighs> I just need to go heal up, man. I really need to go heal. Let's take a look through these Pokemon I got last time and 
see if we can make something cool. I mean, Totodile immediately stands out as one that we could definitely fuse. And it would be good against the water, or sorry, the fire gym. But who do we want to fuse it with? Eevee? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I want another dragon. We already have like two dragons. I don't really care, man. They're, they, they, they level up pretty quick. Let's do it. The Pokemon are being fused! Oh... Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's... You know... It's, it's, it's cute, I guess. <laughs> We're back! And I finally remember to heal. So, let's push the button. And I think that should deactivate something down here? Or is it... Wait, what did that just do actually? Does that change the top floor? Didn't seem like it did anything over here. Oh my god, I'm just wasting my repels completely, bro. Whatever, let's just go upstairs. Because I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to go to progress anyway. What the frick? Yo. Why is there a skybox? Probably not supposed to be there, I'll say. <laughs> um. Anyway. We finally got another trainer. And it's Growlithe. Oh my, that is an angry looking Growlithe. Holy. Just had a look at the Gudra for Alligator Fusion. It somehow looks both derpy and cool at the same time. You know, at least that gives me hope. That it's gonna look somewhat good. Yo, what? This guy dropped. Oh! That was one of the quests for the hotel. Nice. Alright, that's one down. Even though I don't think that was like an official quest. Also, isn't this the book that usually tells you about like Mew and Mewtwo? We christened the new little- yeah, okay. Oh! Wait, I sprayed a fusion repel. I forgot, does that make more fusion Pokemon pop up? Because if so, I should have just been using the fusion repels this whole time. Like, I want to see more fusions. I don't want to see the regular Pokemon, unless of course we're trying to catch them. But I mean, I'm down to catch some fusions too. Isn't there like a fusion Pokeball that we can use? Oh yeah, there is. Alright, let's go for it. Muzzing. Muzinga. Hey! <laughs> we caught it with that cursed word that I just said. Okay, which one do we pick? Left or right? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say right. Oh, did, did I pick right? I mean, I, I did pick right, but did I pick right? If you know what I'm saying. I, I picked wrong, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I never went up here. Yeah, clearly, because there's the Magmar. Uh, but I still don't have anyone with False Swipe, bro. I should have not gotten rid of it on Kangas Walk. Even though I think there is a move relearner, I just don't know exactly where it's at. Um, but yeah, when, we, when we're done with this whole Cinnabar arc, I'll probably go find him. Yo, look at that sprite, though. Oh my god. He flaming. Flamon. Oh, it's in the Poké Center? Okay, yeah, that's convenient. I figured this game does have a lot of good conveniences, so makes sense. Please, can we hit? Oh my god! Twice? Three times, really? Come on, man. Can we hit one freaking signal beam? This is what I get for hating on Big Bang Theory, man. Alright, we're taking the left path this time. And I believe this should lead us to the basement. Which is where all the magic happens, as you know. Whoa. Chara. Isn't that like the main character from Undertale or am I tripping? It's so random that I remember that, but I actually really like Undertale. Like, I've never done a playthrough of it. It was kind of low-key when I played it, even. Do I get rid of Shadow Sneak? I think so. I think it's about time. Like, I don't actually use Shadow Sneak that often. Ga no way. Bro, this is- this is the reference. This, like, come on. What? Isn't Frisk also a character? I know Gaster for sure is a character. He's like the hidden ghost guy. I, I, I don't actually remember. It was years ago that I played Underst Undertale. But I'm still anxiously or excitedly awaiting 
for Deltarune Chapter 3 and beyond. I think they're all coming out at the same time, right? Toby Fox announced, like, the rest of it is going to come out. Well, maybe not at the same time, but he's waiting until it's all done before releasing the next chapter or something like that. But yeah, when all of Deltarune comes out or when it's getting closer to it, I, I definitely want to stream through all of Deltarune. Maybe even Undertale, like... To hype it up like before Deltarune drops I'm gonna do full Undertale playthrough that would be the exit of the mansion so let's head down to the basement see what other creepy crawlies are down here um, actually we need our repel to be off cuz we need some dittos Frisk is the character you play as Gaster is the old royal scientist before Alfie's and Chara is the rival okay so I was I mean, I figured Chara was the main character because it comes from character Kara. I, I forget. I definitely need to replay Undertale. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a minute since I last played, but it, it's got some good lore, dude. I love the Undertale lore. Like, I just love games like that in general where they don't give you everything straight up and you kind of have to figure it out, which is why I'm probably why I'm so into Souls games, too. Even though they're very, very cryptic, like, I don't mind having to go to YouTube videos or, like, seeing the community slowly piece everything together. Like, Pets Cop? You guys ever heard of Pets Cop? Dude, I love Pets Cop. I'm a big, big Pets Cop guy. <laughs> even though it's not even a real game, technically. Just the mystery of it and, like, how people slowly pieced everything together was so cool. Uh, even though I mostly watched videos about it, I never actually watched too much of the actual Pets Cop playthrough. I mean, I watched some of it. Like the last few parts because no one really covered them well. Freaking Pyrocynical never made part two. Ah oh, yes, I am Blaine, the city's gym leader. This very room is where scientists genetically engineered a Pokemon called Mewtwo many years ago. One can only imagine the experiments that took place in this basement, but it has been abandoned for a long time now. So you wanted to challenge my gym? Very well, I'll go back immediately. <laughs> that's it? That's it? That's that easy, bro? Okay. <laughs> what is this, though? A large container made of thick glass. It looks as if something has been beating on it over and over. So I guess that's where Mewtwo originally came out of? I mean, now he's chilling in Cerulean Cave, so we're not going to be seeing a Mewtwo fusion for a minute. But I've just now realized that the whole reason, other than getting Blaine, that we came down to this basement was to freaking catch some Ditto. So... Oh my god! Oh, that's the... I forgot that's the sprite we gave him! <laughs> or maybe that's the default, I don't know, but we don't have a quick ball. So I guess we might as well Thunder Wave. Oh my- you've got freaking Limber, bro! Wait, does that mean you no longer have Limber? Because he transformed into me? Ha! Uh, this is annoying, though. I, sh I should have... Okay, I'm pretty sure we can still catch it, right? Like, Ditto doesn't have the craziest catch rate as far as I know. Maybe. I should have just gone Ultra Ball anyway. <laughs> hey! Finally! I don't know why I turned Italian... It may be Russian for a little bit, but, uh... We did it! There's some pretty cute Ditto Sprite- Oh! Yeah, I think- I think we know what Ditto Sprite we're going for. <laughs> I'll keep the repel off just in case we run into another one, because Ditto Fusions in general are pretty sick. What the frick is that? Is that a Radita Radicate? It has to be, right? It's literally just Radita, but like... Radicate color. And with the Radicate tail, actually. So it has to be. And I just noticed it doesn't have the two T's on the name. So I, I guess it's just Radita with one T. <laughs> the Mouse Mouse Pokemon. Nice. Oh, yeah. We need the item from Ditto. That's the other thing we needed from here. The Metal Powder. Uh, but we got some Dittos. Quick Powder. Come on. Oh my god, they all have quick powder. They don't have the right powder. Why are you like this, Dittos? Alright, well, I can't be bothered to do that. But I do want to make at least one Ditto fusion. Let's do it. And 
and we get... Um... Uh, uh. Okay, well, these, these sprites are dead. <laughs> this is the funniest looking one, but I'm just trying to piece together what we're looking at here. Is that a fist coming up, like, from it? Yeah, we're definitely reversing this fusion, bro. I, wa I want to see what the other version of it would have looked like. I don't, I don't care what stats. Oh, whatever, you can... How do we reverse the fusion? We have to use that one item on it, don't we? So I guess I'll just put it in the team for now. And then we'll do one more ditto fusion. With... I, I'm just curious. Oh, it's like an edgy ditto. It's going to be Trigonometry, the Pokemon. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of awesome. That's pretty awesome. Oh my god. We can be purple guy? If you asked me a year ago, I would not know what this character is. But we got to be purple guy, bro. I don't know what the consensus is on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, but... Honestly, if it wasn't for the FNAF movie, I would not know anything about FNAF. Like, I never knew anything about it before. But it got me to watch all the lore videos. Oh my, oh my god. Sir? Oh. You know, I've heard a lot of people say that this Pokeball should open. I'm glad it doesn't open because it probably would have just broke. Okay, I'm really curious about the reverse of this dit V here. The other sprite definitely, I mean, the first one seemed like it would have been more meme worthy, but now I gotta know what this one would be. Turns out this was the meme one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is oddly cute though. Uh, I don't really care what moves you have. I mean, I just I just wanted to see the sprite, really. Ito, the name, too. <laughs> Ito, I love it. Anyway, uh, this here is not what I thought it was. Uh, did I even go into this building already? Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer. I'm looking for Dodrio. That's a pretty sick trade. I don't think I have a Dodrio, though. But I was thinking of this building here, which is, of course... Where you can get your fossils resurrected. That lady also said apparently you can get all eight evolutions in this game. Which I figured, because like, yeah, there's a bunch of non-Gen 1 Pokemon here. Uh, I guess Sylveon is also in this game. Uh, okay, this is the guy. Yes, revive my old Amber. Whoa. There's like an animation for it. That's dope. I mean, I was about to say, I kind of want to make an Aerodactyl Fusion, because it's a Rock-type one. But also, level 35. It's not bad, I mean... If we fuse it with, like, this Magmar, we would get a pretty high-level Pokémon. Let's do it! Why not? And I'm not talking about the- oh, nope, there's not even a custom sprite, wow. I mean, this <laughs> this looks pretty cursed. I don't know. But I guess I would want fire flying. Not really. I just want to see what the frick this looks like, bro. There's no way it's going to look that cool. Hey! <laughs> That's the cry I imagine it having. And it doesn't come out of its mouth. It comes out of the butt cheeks on its head. Hey! Now, even though we didn't get the metal powder, I think there's at least one other quest that we did? That's no diamond necklace. Where the frick is his diamond necklace then? I got this guy's vase though. But this isn't actually a side quest. It's just for recover. Oh wait, it is a quest. Okay, never mind. So if we could just get that guy's diamond necklace, which is apparently also in the mansion, but I just, I didn't see it. So, I'm just going to pretend it doesn't exist. And we'll go take on Blaine, the hot-headed fire Pokemon Pro. Yo, I'm actually kind of excited for what this gym test will be. 
Because like so far, Infinite Fusion has made everything more interesting. Usually these questions are super duper easy, but I feel like Infinite Fusion would make them better. Oh my god. A fusion between Charmander and Ponyta evolves at which level? Oh god, okay. It has to be 18 or 16 still. Nice. Okay, not that bad. Now, of course, we're still going to fight the trainers because I want that juicy XP. Uh, let's do this, Sonny. And hopefully they have actual... Okay, it's just Vulpix. It's not even a fusion, bro. What are you doing? Okay, Prime Tails. There we go. An actual fusion, at least. Thank you for, for showing us that. I, I, did, I didn't need to see that in my lifetime, but back to Vulpix. Why? Question two, which of these Pokemon is not seal type? Hmm. Is Mawal seal fairy? Or is that just its mega evolution? Steel fighting, it's gotta be nose pass. Oh wait, I forgot, we gotta fight this guy too though. Do you know how hot Pokemon fire breath can get? Huh? What, the, what, what did this man just say? You need a diamond item, which you can buy in Goldenrod, and you need a pearl, then you go to Not Island, there's an old lady. Oh, okay, so it's... Okay, that's what you meant by it's a lo long ways away. Got it. Man, everybody here just loves Ninetales, I guess. Like, that's all the fusions that we've seen so far. Is either Vulpix or Ninetales. Alright, I mean, I guess there's not that many... Wait, no, there is a bunch of fire types in Gen 1. Like, why is everybody just... I'm not going to finish that sentence. Let's just say they're very enthusiastic about Ninetales, which I am too, so I don't blame him. But still, you got Magmar, you got Growlithe, Arcanine, like... Which type is super effective against Fire Grass Pokemon? Uh, none of those, actually. What? Wait, Fire Grass? Would it be weak to Rock? Oh my god, it is, because... I thought grass would resist rock, but no, I got tricked. I got bamboozled. And this guy actually does have the fire grass type. So the answer is I need to use a rock move right now. But if I send in slow limb, he's, he's going to freaking die, bro. It's solar beam coming out. Okay, we just got to kill this thing right here, right now. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Anybody remember my amazing galvanized golem strategy? What was that even from? I think the teal mask DLC. <laughs> I tried to use galvanized golem and explode on some fools, but in reality, it was just me that self exploded. A fusion with Oddish as the body and Rhyhorn as the head would have which typing? Oh god. I never even thought about that. Like, I I don't even know how this works. The head would have the first typing, right? So it would be grass. And then Rhyhorn is rock ground. So I guess it would be grass rock. Are you Did I read it backwards? I don't, maybe I read it backwards, but I would assume that the head would be the main type. I don't even know, bro, but this man's got a Pikachu Charmander out here. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that cry. And the sprite looks almost as cursed. Oh, Pikamelian now. Okay, that actually looks kind of dope. That looks way cooler than the first form. Is he going to have the Pikazard? Yo, he has to have the... Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Not the cry, though. Not the cry, bro. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was a trick question. I don't know. Or not a trick question, but it was worded in a weird way. So, oh no, Oddish as the body. Oh, okay. So we, I misread it, I guess. So then it, Rhyhorn main type. So it'd be rock and poison then. Ground and poison. What type even is Rhyhorn, bro? Hold up. Oh, Rhyhorn's main type is ground. I thought Rhyhorn was rock ground, not ground rock. More you know, I guess. How many types are not very effective against fire type? 
Ooh. Okay, so obviously fire, steel. There has to be at least one more if the lowest answer is three. Ice, right? Grass. Fairy. Oh, and bug. Okay, so yeah, six. Damn. I would have guessed five because I forgot about bug, but you guys got me. I still want to fight this dude, though. Uh, this dude's... He's got the best Pokemon in the game, let's be honest. <laughs> Even though chat didn't want it on the squad, somehow Doublet made its way into the episode. And now it's gonna... Really? It's gonna make its way into the ground, I guess. Come on, man. Just one-shot it, please. I don't want to deal with this. There we go. <laughs> I know this is not how it works, but imagine because of how many Diglett heads there are, is how super effective that move was. Which TM contains the move Tombstoner? What even is that, bro? There is no way that's a real move. <laughs> what? What was that really? That was a real question? Okay. I guess. I mean, Rock Tomb is a thing, but Tombstoner? That just sounds like a guy that would sell you weed at like Home Depot. I'm the tombstoner, bro. Or I guess at a cemetery, not a Home Depot. I like that fusion, by the way. I didn't. I killed it too quickly, but the opposite version of this, the Growlithe Vulpix, is pretty cute. Kind of looked like uh, Sly Cooper. I don't know. And it's time to fight Blaine. I guess we can keep Sunny up first. Because she's got Earthquake. Kangaswalk will be the backup with Bone Meringue. And then we got Slowlim. Actually, we should lead off with Slowlim because... Oh, wait. Who has Stealth Rock? Oh, I gave it to Kangaswalk. I should have gave it to Slowlim. I feel like Kangaswalk is going to die. But hey, if we can get off the Stealth Rock before dying, then I'll consider that a job well done. I'm Blaine, the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fire Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. <laughs> you better have a burn heal. I'll allow four Pokemon for this fight, so choose wisely. Oh, right. I forget. They actually make the gym battles fair in this game. So, yeah, we're definitely going to go with... Well, we got to have Raiden in there just in case. I was going to go with T, but like T kind of sucks. So, yeah, let's get Raiden in there and fight Blaine. Always love how he throws up the peace sign in the heart gold sprite. I mean, I just like the Blaine heart gold sprite in general. And of course, he starts off with a grass and fire. We should have brought Excalibur, because no one else has any flying moves. Which is not great. And if he does have more grass types too, like... Oh my god, who do I even... Okay, I guess Bug and Drag would resist grass and fire move so yeah sunny still takes a hell of a lot of damage oh we're gonna lose oh we should have done a prediction i just realized will i beat blade because obviously we are not gonna be blade right now bro this is way harder than i expected maybe we can still clutch it somehow we'll see but it's not looking good right now okay we learned that rock would still be super effective so Let's go for Rock Blast here. And at least we know he has only four Pokemon. He uses a Full Restore. I see it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> Maybe that'll swing some people to vote no. Even though that's literally going against me winning. And I know you guys want to watch me win. But still, he threw up Sunny Day too. Look at that. That's not good. That means that my... Oh, and the Rock Blast doesn't even kill it yet. Bro, we're... Okay. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, this is not looking good right now. Y'all really believe that much? Alright, well, I appreciate it that you guys believe. <laughs> Slow limbs freaking dead, man. <laughs> this is not looking good at all. He's got the sunny day up. But we do have the stealth rock. That's the one thing we've got going for us. I don't think we're faster, though. Yep, we're not. Alright. Alright. So, it's basically all on Raiden right now. To just sweep through this, even with the sunny day up. And the Choppleberry, bro? Come on. P 
Posho berry, that's what it's called. Okay, whatever. The the water weakening berry. I, I don't know the moves for them, but we knew it was going to weaken water. <laughs> okay, at this point, I'm trolling, bro. It's like I want freaking Blaine to win. This dude has lightning rod, too. Like, you got to be kidding me. Chardactyl. Ooh, that's kind of sick. All right. The stealth rock does a lot. You know what? He used a full restore, so I can use at least one revive, right? Mainly just because I want to get experience on Sunny. I don't even, like, think we're going to need Sunny. I just want the experience. You've heard of 6-9, but have you heard of 9-9? Nine, nine? Yo! Oh, that's what 9-9 nine, nine is. If I can pull this off without losing Sunny, I will still consider it as a dub because... Technically, like I said, I just want the XP. And he used one full restore, so I'm going to give myself the potion. Oh my god, not the Confuse Ray. My point is that if it comes down to Sunny, I will still consider it that we lost. But we didn't. We would have won. We didn't even need the Hyper Potion. <laughs> I convinced you guys to vote no, too. I freaking bamboozled the vote, bro. Scripted. <laughs> it was not script. I really thought I was going to lose, bro. But we did it. Raiden is just too good. The MVP of this playthrough. Always believe, man. Always got to believe. It took us like five years to finally get here, but it looks like this playthrough is kind of winding down, even though there's a ton of post-game content too. So to end off this stream, as usual, we got our Wonder Trade tickets, so you guys already know it's time for some Gamba Gamba. Oh wait, we have to have it in our team though. I've always seen Scyther and Magma are his sort of counterparts. Not really, because obviously Electivire is his main counterpart, but... I don't know, I feel like there is some correlation there. Spitfire Mantis Pokemon? Bro, that sounds cooler than the actual Pokemon looks. Oh yeah, we're definitely doing Adamant Technician. Damn, bro, now I kind of want to keep this Pokemon. What the frick? I mean, you know, whoever gets this, I'm sure would be happy to get this fusion, so... End of the day... I'm still going to trade it away. And we'll make one more. I don't know what the frick to fuse this Goldeen with, bro. We always got to do a trash fusion, you know? <laughs> so what better way to do than literal trash? At least it has a custom sprite. <laughs> At least it has something going for it. And... Goldfish? Dude, it's a freaking pet store goldfish. That's pretty cool. That's, dude, I wanted to make some bad fusions to trade away. We actually ended up getting some pretty awesome ones. Okay, let's do Ditto with... Why not? <laughs> oh, there's both have custom sprites. Okay, this kind of looks like Hatcherine or something. I don't know about this one. But normal Psychic, that's not even that bad. I mean, you get resistance to fighting, like neutral. You, you resist Ghost. And that doesn't even look that bad either. I mean, it's pretty quirky. I like the eyes, the way that one is up and one is down. Aerodactyl Pidgeot, though. Yo! Hold up. What the freak is this? That sprite looks insane. Like, it was, like, big and, like, has a lot going on. You know? It's not bad. I expected this. <laughs> or this. But actually, this looks way better. Ancient Pidgeot. Low-key? Yeah, that looks like it could be, like, a Paradox Pidgeot. Wait, I just realized Archeops was in the sprite. <laughs> How did I not even notice? One of the options was literally just Archeops. Like, I just saw Archeops and I'm like, oh, it's Archeops, duh. Let's do some wonder trades to wrap up this stream and this episode. 
probably. Uh, we got Waito, Golbish, and Radata. Let's start with Radata. Because I guess it's the most basic one. Like, we literally just caught it in the man- Wait, money? We got money? Hey, it's money, baby! <laughs> oh yeah, I forget that there's like a little delay before you can do the next one. But we got Ninkata Sandile. Pretty cool. I like when we get like baby forms. Or not baby, but like unevolved Pokemon. It's got Moxie too, hell yeah. Nintendo, what? Wait, is that literally just a Nidoran? That doesn't just look like Nidoran. Why is it called Nintendo? Oh, it's both. What? Yo, what the frick? Is it just Nidoran and Nidoran? Or is it Nidorino and Nidoran? Or Nidorina? I, that looks like Nidorina's head. Definitely one of the weirder fusions. Why are you still preparing, bro? How long are you going to take? You know what? Fine. Since you're taking so freaking long, I'm pretty sure I have a Moonstone in here, so... Let's see what the final form of this would be, Nintendo. <laughs> or not final, final form, but I guess half final form. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's, I didn't even realize that was a custom sprite at first. That is, that is one small looking thing. This is going to be our best fusion we're giving away right here. I'm sad to see Waito go, but hopefully we get some good in exchange. Minivan? This can't be good. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. <laughs> 